Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Inkai's, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Inkai's Plays The Shrouded Isle. We're gonna continue... Go back to our sinful village. We still need to encourage penitence, and we need to find a cowardly one, and the gods above, they require us to uh, do something regarding penitence. Like I said, I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. Uh, maybe we need to, like, raise it as much as possible. Or maybe that encourage penitence means that simply this bar has been, like, raised higher. So we have to, like, work harder, and we have. And maybe we need to keep this up? I don't- I have no idea. But two things are for sure. We need to find- or three things. We need to find a cowardly one before the, uh, the year ends. In the seasons remaining, the months remaining. We need to work on obedience and penitence. And uh, I think I got feedback regarding the number of inquisitions per house. And I think the number of inquiries that you have depends on your reputation with each house. So if they're happier, they give you more inquiries. If they're not, if they don't like you much, they'll probably won't give you any. Like these guys are giving me zero. One, one, one. One. Yeah, so it's gonna kind of suck for the Blackborn, the, the Blackborns, I should say, because we can't inquire into their house, and we can't really set somebody who, like, guarantee an advisor who can help us in the obedience department, so we need to, like, leech obedience from uh, the different houses and advisors, so we need to find people who are crony, elegant, lawful, timid, unquestioning, accusatory convict, Honest, just, and self-loathing. We have... Uh, Andre Cagney seems like would increase obedience, but we don't know anything else about him. First of all, let's look into Nikolai a little bit. Nikolai, who are you? Unrepentant. Okay, well, the advisor is going to be Andre. Next house. Yosefka. The knowing too much sucks. So she raises obedience and she lowers obedience simultaneously. Interesting. Undisciplined. Discipline, I don't want it to go down too much. Ignorance going up is not that important to me. It's just obedience is important. So I'm going to inquire more into Laszlo. He's an elegant man. He will increase obedience, but he uh, we don't know his vice. Screw it. With pleasure, he says. Okay. Cadwell. Increase penitence? Yeah. However, disobedient. That's actually kind of okay. Well, we can also lower discipline. If we need to. Yeah, let's let's choose her as the advisor. Uh the thing is we're gonna have to like kill one of these guys too. So <laughs> we'll see. I will forever seek forgiveness, your excellency. Good. Good. We can also change them as well, like they're not set in stone right now. So we're going we're making our first round. You guys hate me, don't you? No, actually, you're fine, because, uh, it was just, this, this person's sacrifice was, uh, for good cause. Ignorant. Lacking fervor. What else? Penitent. Perfect. So, fervor can't go down. Penitence will go up. And we need the Effersons to be penitent anyway. So, perfect. Yes. 
<laughs> Last year, Blackborn Estate. Hello! Who do you have? Oh, I can't even inquire. So we do have to actually help these guys out a lot. Because they hate me. We can't have disobedience, though. It's interesting, they're not hindered by disobedience. We can't have a representative from their house who's not capable of contributing to an increase in obedience, honestly, so... Let's go to one of these girls. Suzanne, you are my advisor. Prove thyself worthy. I'll help improve our village health. Very well. We shall see about that. Okay, so we want to increase obedience. We also want to increase penitence. And I need their approval a lot. Could work out too. It's a greater effect though. Or even greater. I think I want penitence to happen. Yeah, I think this, this is a good combination. Pharaoh's gonna go down. But we'll deal with that. Okay, so Pointer. Dutifully you whip the sinful, adhering to the rites of penitence. Chernobogs will... Chernobogs will guides Poiter. Poiter was discovered to be accusatory, which gives a lot of penitence. Poiter points out a few extra sinners that need punishment and whips them. Uh, you notice that his ceremonies aren't as well attended as others, so fervor goes down a little bit, that's fine. Suzanne... Interrogate the townspeople. It seems a few parents conspire to hide their children from the rituals. Uh, works extra hard, skipping many meals and evening leisures. So, extra discipline. But also, fervor goes down. She is rumored to be lacking fervor. I need to get these guys out of dissatisfied. Okay, fervor went down. Quite a lot. Fervor obedience. Oh, these guys became neutral. Oh. More obedience. And even more obedience. I don't think you have to be included, but, I mean, you would go up a little bit. Yeah, I think I like this one a little better. Okay, Laszlo makes the monuments. He makes it seem fashionable to be organized, so obedience goes up. And he's behavior unknown effect. 
we don't know his vice. Susan inter interrogated townspeople, makes her hard work. She's shy, so fervor went down. You don't hear Susan utter a single word, word all month. Okay. I kind of want to focus on... See, I think the section is like zero inquiries, one inquiry, or no inquiries, no inquiries in neutral either, maybe. And then one, if they're satisfied, and two, if they're super satisfied, I have no idea. Okay, fervor went down. Penitence also needs a little bit of help, but that requires lowering fervor more. Should be all right. Okay, the last low built monument. Fervor did go down a little bit for some reason. He lowered it actually. All right. Penitent. Oh, he's hurting my penitence. This is not good at all. Who are we going to kill? I think it's going to be Blaslo. This is pretty major, negative 20. Uh, sorry, Blaslo. You're the one. Let me see. We'll be disturbed by by death and lose obedience. Um, they'll hate me. They're not gonna find it very inspiring. Barely raising their penitence. They'll be outraged, since they know nothing of their transgression. Be outraged. First playthrough, we're gonna make some mistakes, we're gonna make some uh, questionable decisions, but, I mean, we're gonna learn also. Uh, we sacrifice the life of Laszlo, House Yosefka, simmers with quiet resentment. It's not that bad. Negative 50, others were raised by 5. The villagers wonder whether... Any soul is safe from the Lord's wrath. Penitence goes up, obedience goes down a little bit. My standing with them is pretty horrible. The Ill Omen. A letter reads, Beloved leader, yesterday when I went to pull water from the well, my bucket came up with a skull-shaped leaf. I dare not leave my house until I receive your blessing, lest I risk Lord Chernobog's wrath, Preben Yosefka. Oh, I'm super gonna encourage favor. You guys hate me now. Gosh. Like it. Super like it. How's your life? Thanks you for your discretion. And eventually, Preben overcomes their fears. Penitence went up by 10. House Yosefko's approval went up by 20, which is great, and there's a trait change. Preben Yosefko is no longer embezzler, and is rumored to be gentle. You guys don't like gentle. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Cute, creepy music. 
I will inquire into What's up with you? You're shy. Andre? You're up. Again. We need to find out more about you. How's Joseph go? I am sorry for your loss. I understand you do not want to give me an inquiry. However... I think we're gonna have to kill Prebin. He's too soft. I'm picking him because I'm considering him as a sacrifice right now. Penitence goes up, obedience goes down. I need fervor. Who are you, Wendelin? Full of fervor, you don't say. Done. Cadwell. You have surprised me. I have not even gone with somebody full of discipline. Also full of fervor. We have one inquiry. You're lacking forever. This house is a house of penitence. Anybody who is not repentant. Oh, damn. I'm gonna pick him in case forever is going to need, like, a little bit of boost. Do we have anybody who's, uh... Increasing penitence directly. We don't. Well, we don't want two people with fervor. That's just ridiculous. We need somebody who can... But he's gonna hurt the fervor. Tough choices. Wait. You guys have the heads? Alright. Blackborn. You guys don't like me much. And I understand. Bring me... Him. Okay. <laughs> we haven't found anybody who is a coward, though. But we have three chances here to, f to, to see if maybe one of these guys is a coward. Um, as far as advisors... As much as I need the Yosefkas to be happy, what I can do is do... How are you guys feeling about me? You don't like me? Do these guys. And then counteract it with... Carl. Hopefully it won't go down too much. I just need to buy a little bit of favor from both of these houses. Yeah, maybe we'll find out more about her as well. She can contribute to fervor. Yeah. So Prebin, 
and laborers made some monuments. Preppin's virtue is discovered to be superstitious, so ignorance goes up. He foretells good fortune and reads good omens everywhere. His vice is that we already know it. Spend some of the month's budget on cushions for the cathedral's pews. You fooled. Wendling confiscates goods. Finds a secret distillery, destroys it, preventing future distraction. Wendelin has discovered to be violent. So Ferro goes up from her. Uh, and unknown vice. But we gotta keep an eye on, on these bars and see what that unknown mi vice might be. From both of these guys, actually. Unless we get the rumor here. No rumor. Interrogation went well. He's actually charismatic. Adds to fervor. These guys are almost on good terms with me. Almost. His negative is just too harsh. Um, I think this is fine. Let's do it like this. They're not going to like me much, but I don't care. When one sees forbidden desserts and fine cloth ensuring steadfast focus on prayer. Roars through the night in a fit of temper. Sephora goes up. Vice rumor. When the is rumored to be undisciplined. That's totally fine. Arrives late to every advisor meeting. Mumbling and apology. That's fine. That's fine. She reduces by an unknown amount, but again, that's totally fine. We can take that hit. Call gives a beautiful sermon, staring every heart. Yeah, next time we gotta pick a really decent advisor from House Yosefka. Otherwise, we're going to keep losing their approval like that. Look how much he's adding to ignorance, though. That's amazing. I wonder if this is, this is going to hurt us more than it's going to help us. But I want to get his second vice if we can. His second trait. And I still want to win a little bit of favor with this house, this house, and this house. These guys are satisfied. I can take a hit. I don't like these guys being neutral. But so be it. Right. Discipline up, fervor up. Discipline down. She's rumored to be gluttonous. Or she's discovered to be gluttonous. Lowering discipline. By, you know, a little less than she raised it, actually, so that's totally fine. Poor outcome. Chast who chased rumors and uh, whispers but found no evidence of infidels. Obedience went down. So he's actually rumored to be disobedient. Advises a code of law with a new, more confusing interpretation. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Coffee me. Honestly, of these people, I'm pretty sure that... They don't like him. I mean, he's reducing fervor by so much. So much for his own house. I'm sorry. Yosefko, you're gonna hate me so much. Oh my god, they're gonna hate me. I can't do it. I can't do it. They're gonna hate me. These guys don't like me either. And I don't know who this guy is. Uh, if major virtue and a minor vice, they're not going to like that. Goodbye. The villagers will be horrified by Wendelin's death and lose fervor. Sagros will encourage discipline. They'll be outraged. The Effersons and the Cagney can take a hit. If I try to kill him, they'll be horrified. Penitents will, will go down. They're, they'll hate me. If I get Prebin, I mean, Fervor will go up because he's just, his, his vice, the sacrifice will encourage Fervor. The villagers will be horrified and lose ignorance. That's, if they lose ignorance, it's okay, but they will straight up hate me because they were selected last season. Sorry! <laughs> Ching! Get good, Prebin. Oof. Repeat a sacrifice. House Yosefka is enraged by your tyranny and declares you their enemy. House Yosefka's approval is negative 100. Lel. <laughs> oh, man. Villagers speak of Prebin as a holy martyr perishing for the greater good. Jesus. House Yosef are defying my authority, I must appease them this season or risk revolt. Well, we have inquiries with other houses. Are you pissed? You mad, bro? <laughs> anyway, well, that's it for this episode. Uh, next time, we gotta check into this, uh, look into this letter that we received. Hopefully, we can. It's something related to Yosefka again, but, I mean, what would be the odds? We got lucky last time when we did something with Prebin, but I doubt that it's going to happen again, but we'll see what that is. I really like the sound of cicadas in the game. I just noticed that. Also, we're going to, like the game said, try to appease to the Yosefka, otherwise they're going to... I don't know what's going to happen, so we'll see about that next time. Thank you so much for your time and attention during this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give a thumbs up on the video. I would greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.